Hello YouTube, this is Kaito JR here and I'm here to do another speculation video for Attack on Titan chapter 129 of the manga. So here I speculate in this chapter that both Reiner and Annie and their Titan forms will kill most of the Jaegerists. Yes, in chapter 129 I believe most of the Jaegerists flock subordinates and Aaron's as well, but to be honest with you, Aaron doesn't, really doesn't care about the Jaegerists anymore. He just cares about destroying the entire world, which Surprisingly enough, he's doing a really good job at it so far, so yes, good job, Eren. And yeah, so Reiner and Annie, they are in their Titan forms, as we saw in Chapter 128, and they're going to continue on being in their Titan forms until in Chapter 129, which they're going to use it to kill, to slaughter most, or even all of the Jaegerists. I mean, who knows, maybe even Flock will also die in this in the next Chapter in 129. Yeah, and that's also what I'm expecting too to happen in one chapter 129 as well. Flock's death, Flock will probably die in this chapter, chapter 129. He will probably be killed by either Reiner or Annie. Maybe they in their Titan Forms will, will deliver the final blow to Flock, just ending that guy's misery once and for all. Because man, I I, I kind of don't really like Flock that much. I mean, yeah, I mean, I know I put him in some of my thumbnails, but I mean, I only did that just so because he was kind of a central figure in that story in, in, in the in the chapter. So I thought it would be important to you know add Flock into those to those thumbnails. But yeah, in this thumbnail, this video, I probably won't add him because I don't really like him. Yeah. So, but Flock, hopefully he will die in the next chapter in chapter 129. I kind of hope so, and I also believe that he will. Yes. Yeah. Flock will definitely die, and. Uh, also, Hanji, Kiyomi, Azuma, Bito, and the others, Commander Megat, yeah, they are, they will still be trapped inside of the basement, as we saw in Chapter 128, yeah, yeah, those, all of them are inside the basement, of course, Armin and Connie are doing something else at the moment of time, but they're Reiner and Annie and their Titan forms after they're done with the Jaegerists, they're gonna have to go and take off all the rubble, I'm pretty sure they planned this beforehand, that, yeah. okay, okay, Reiner and Annie, while you guys are in your Titan forms, you guys will then pick up all the rubble off of the building and try to get us out of the basement where where we are right now because right now they don't even know that you're helping us sort of not really because yeah well they don't know our plan so they don't know if you're gonna transform into a titan just right there right above a flock then there's just a boom both right or any titan forms female titan armor titan yeah also another thing this is the first, we are once again reintroduced to the female Titan. We haven't seen the female Titan since the counter attack in the Stohes district. I think that's what that arc was called. Yeah, yeah, that was the last time we saw the female Titan. And then now we're seeing it again, currently, recently, yes. The female Titan is back, everybody. And we're gonna see it more of it in action in chapter 129. So I'm really excited for that. Man, it's been a while. Huh? Yeah, so of course they're gonna be using their Titan forms to pick up all the rubble and to help Hanji and the others inside of the basement to escape from there so they can get Kiyomi Azuma Bito to you know help them know help them to learn how to use the aircrafts because I believe some of her engineers are probably dead because they're they, all of them were probably blown up by those thunder spears or maybe some of them made it into the basement with Kiyomi and Hanji and Megat, Megat as well and the others there as well too so and hopefully some of the engineers are still alive because without them all they have is all, all they have is Anyako Pan in order to just pilot those aircrafts. But even him probably doesn't can't do it very well just all by himself. So he's gonna need those engineers from the Ozma Bito clan, definitely. And also, yes, also Aaron has laid waste to Marley and is now on his way to destroy any neighboring region surrounding Marley. Yeah, so that's another big concern that Marley has been destroyed by Aaron Yeager. It was told to us by Hanji herself. She just went up to the group and says, uh, yeah, um, just to let you all know, Aaron, he kind of destroyed Marley. I mean, don't ask me how I know it. Well, actually, I kind of, I think I saw, yeah, because I, I don't know, I forgot how Hanji knows, knows this, but she told the group that, yes, Aaron, he's on Marley right now. He's probably, he's definitely laid waste to it. He's now going to go and destroy the other regions surrounding it. Of course, Annie does not like this at all since she has her father, her adopted father over at Marley. Who she's definitely worried about because oh my god my father's probably dead. Aaron, I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna kill you now. Yeah, so and he's definitely gonna be really pissed off at Aaron. He's gonna want to kill him, which is kind of impossible right now. Just with her female Titan, she probably won't be able to do that. Just with her Titan. So I mean, it's cool to see her Titan again, but 
it's not it's gonna it's not gonna be effective at all in going up against Aaron, so she's gonna have to, you know, lay back from doing that. I mean, that's why they're getting they're getting the aircraft so they can go up to Aaron and destroy the the nape. And also, Reiner, I'm pretty sure Reiner. I, okay, I don't know if Reiner's ever gonna die. I mean, yeah, he has two years left to live, so he's not gonna make it past the two years. He's only gonna die around that time. But yeah, maybe the whole. Maybe die, maybe Reiner will die soon. Maybe, probably next, not next chapter. Maybe the chapter after that. Maybe we'll finally see Reiner actually die for once. So yeah, just wait for that to happen. And uh, let's see. Yeah, I already explained how Aaron is just he's he's doing it really quickly. He's slaughtering all of mankind, ethnic cleansing everyone, all nations, really really quickly. I said before how yes, Aaron. I mean. All, all, all the entire world outside of the walls are probably inside of bunkers just so they can stay safe from this apocalypse pretty much that's happening right now as as we speak yeah so hopefully that's what they're all doing just staying in the bunkers because not all of them are well yeah i'm pretty sure they're all scared of eldians and want them all to just you know disappear from the world but still they're kind of still people and you don't really want all of them to die I mean, same with hanji she doesn't want all those people outside of the entire world to die from Aaron just because that they, their freedom was stolen. Well, I mean, that is kind of a good enough reason that, okay, our freedom was stolen, we need to get revenge. Yeah, I mean, that is a pretty good enough reason, I suppose. I mean, it is kind of messed up that their freedom was stolen for over a hundred years, but still, I mean, yeah, exactly, still, I mean, just wiping out everyone everyone in the entire world. Is that really the answer to that, Aaron? Uh, I know Aaron doesn't really care. He's just going to do what he wants to do. He's going to do what he thinks is right to do. And Zeke is probably inside of Aaron's mind right now. I mean, yeah, we haven't seen Zeke for a while, which is pretty disturbing enough. But yeah, I mean, all right, so. And also, Armin and Akani have killed their former comrades from the 104th Trainees Corps, Samuel and Daz, in order to save the airships from being blown up by them. Yeah, because once Flock has called out that Hey, Hanji and, and her group, they're all traitors, as well as Armin and Connie. Destroy them all. That's what Flock yelled out, and Samuel and Daz heard him, and they now know that Connie and Armin are traitors. They are siding with Marley. How dare you side with Marley? They trapped us inside of those walls for over 100 years. How could you do this to, to us, Armin and Connie? We were comrades in arms. Don't you remember that? Yeah, I know. So, it's kind of thing there. I mean, Samuel told Daz to destroy the airship so Armin and Connie won't be able to use them to attack Aaron. However, Armin and Connie, they kind of they kind of need to make sure those airships don't get destroyed by Daz or either Samuel because they definitely need them to, like I said, destroy Aaron. So the cause of this is that, yeah, I mean, yeah, the cause was that, but the effect was that Connie had to kill both Samuel and Daz by shooting them in their heads. Yeah, so Samuel and Daz are dead, and that's just more of Armin and Connie's comrades from back then that just suffered death same fate as the other ones like Mina, Sasha, and the others as well, as well Marco. Yeah, they're all, they've all suffered the same fate as now Samuel and Daz has. I mean, to be honest with you, I thought Daz and Samuel were dead from, you know, the, the previous war and battle for Trost. Yeah, that I thought that they died there, but apparently they, they survived and are now dead here in this chapter, in chapter 128. So in chapter 129, I believe that Connie and Armin are still gonna be, that's still gonna haunt them. I mean, Oh my god, those two were our former comrades, and we just killed them. How, how can I live with myself now? I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure they're used to it by now, but still, I mean, just more of their comrades just dying. They're probably going to end up losing hope for just, you know, existing in general. I mean, okay, should we even stop Aaron, to be honest with you? I mean, people are going to die anyway, so I just think, I just I just don't understand. Yeah, maybe Hanji is wrong. Maybe it really doesn't matter. Maybe Aaron should just you know, just destroy the entire world and all all life in it as well. Of course, Han Hanji's not gonna like that. Of course, they're gonna she's gonna be pushing them in order to no. You guys have to, we have to stop Aaron. I don't care. It doesn't matter what you think you're saying or whatever. Yeah, because just let Aaron destroy the world. No, no. We have to make sure we have to save the world because if there's no world, then there's no us too. Like, what do you want to die as well? Okay, then go stop Aaron. That's what we have to do. Oh uh, yeah, so. However, yeah, I mean, the good thing is that they say both Armin and Connie, they both saved the airships. I mean, they weren't destroyed by Daz or Samuel, so because they killed them. Yeah. So, yeah, the airships, they are ready to be used. And right now, just Reiner and Annie had to just get off all the rubble off of the of the buildings so they can get 
Kiyomi, Asbabito, Hanji, and the others out there. So they can be safe and they can get the aircrafts and go fight Eren. Yeah, I mean, next chapter, I don't think they're going to be fighting against Eren. No, and that's probably going to be the chapters later on. But yeah, I mean, that's my speculation for what I think will happen in chapter 129. So yeah, there you go. Alright, yeah, so make sure you follow me on Twitter and Tumblr. It's all in the description below my video. Subscribe to me if you haven't yet, like my video, and comment down in the comment section below. Alright, well, that's it for the speculation video, everybody, for Chapter 129. Thanks for watching, and bye.